everyone welcome back to my channel and today I am going to talk about something a little bit different that I normally talk about I usually like to film about like lifestyle crystal fashion random stuff but today I want today I wanted to film about money and investing and if 2020 taught us anything it is the importance of saving money for like not only rainy day but for six months so I got busy you know over like you know past few months the summertime is when I really took the time to research different investing savings and budgeting and all of that looking up um, and all that but I think you know with the time on extra time on people's hands you know especially back in March and April when there was nothing to do and um, you know people had more time on their hands being home I used that time to do uh, research like I said with investing and saving money and a really good reference that I or not just reference but um, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos on you know financing finance videos investing but the channel I'm trying to referring to is our rich journey and if I mix up the name I'll obviously like link it um, or put it on the screen with their correct Instagram YouTube channel and I just when I like a channel or when I just discover a channel I just binge watch um, you know they've been on for a couple years and they have a really good following and you know they're not financial experts but they really know their stuff they really break down everything with stocks bonds investing budgeting saving money side hustles just everything you need to know they're um they're a young couple they're they're in their early 40s one's 40 one's 41 they're married with two daughters and you know long story short they retired yes they retired early and that's what their channel is about being able to retire early like who do you know retires that that soon that early but you know their their Instagram title you know is good because it's a journey our rich journey because um, you know it was a journey they they did a lot to get to where they were with investing um, you know a lot of just go check them out I can go on and on about them but they're a good start um, not only did I do my investment research but I also um, I also got life insurance um, you know again 2020 thought taught us that you know anything can happen and I I have a young son and I just thought it was time to get it I'm 33 I'm gonna be 34 and um, so in this video I'll go over everything that um, that I have um, the only thing prior to this year that I really have was a 401k and that's fine if that's all you have but honestly I will look into um, other investments um, instead of just sticking with that it, it is good um, I did talk to a financial guy um, my dad actually gave me his phone number and I talked to him for like an hour you know just just to talk to him um, I I didn't have to pay or use the services well my dad you know works with him but he just talked to me just you know because he knows my dad and my dad you know has been investing for years and I wanted to do the same and he basically told me that 401k is good and um, it's good because it is a common um, in savings investment um, with an employer and before I go all over the place I'll just um, you know go by one by one with what I have um, so since I started talking about 401k I'll start with that and a 401k is employer-based savings and basically um, when I started my job at the hospital um, I immediately signed up for 401k a co-worker told me to do it um, you know I just knew it was a savings that that grew because um, invest money into the stock market and I was like okay cool you know just do that didn't really think much of it takes money out of your check and then your employer matches um, a percentage and so I like to look at it every few months and 
um, just to see how much it's grown and um, it's something you would get um, when you retire it's a uh, retirement savings and again um, just after I after I did that um, I didn't really think about doing any other type of savings but um, but then I started seeing when, like, when I would watch YouTube I would you know see I would go down this rabbit hole with watching different videos um, cause you know, when you play a video or when you watch a video, the next video will play something similar. And I kept seeing Dave, Dave Ramsey. Now he's a well-known, um, guy who has his like radio to podcast show about, um, investing. And he's, he's really funny. He's just like so direct and just, it's like, if you don't have a Roth IRA, you're an idiot. If you don't retire by with this much money, you're stupid. Like he just, he's really funny. Um, Burke. and I've done it. My 401k has been funded and my Roth IRAs have been funded and anything else I could fund has been funded because I, even though I'm a natural spender, I figured out that I would have more to give and more to live if I saved and invested. And I've done a lot of that in good growth stock type mutual funds. Now, were you doing that in a growth stock mutual fund? Were it to average 12%? Were you to put $100 a month in? Now, what do you spend $100 on? Just establish here that you can find $100 latte breath. Let's establish that you could find $100 Mr. and Mrs. Cable. You spend $100 on things you don't even realize you did it. You impulse more than $100 at Target every month. But $100 invested every month. Every month. From age 25 to age 65, averaging 12% in a good growth stock mutual fund Roth IRA is $1 million one hundred and seventy six thousand dollars so if you're listening to this show and you are under 40 years old and you don't retire with a million dollars that's no one's fault but yours it's your fault in this country if you retire broke, it's your fault because you made a freaking fortune in your working lifetime. You work your butt off your whole life and you have nothing to show for it. Nothing. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's there's so much information nowadays it's like like it, it's it's crazy that you know people don't realize the importance of of a savings and um you know especially for retirement you know we you know i'm a millennial you know they say that um we'll have any you know social security when we get older um you know for all we know and you just you can't just survive off of that. Like I would hate to retire and just have, you know, no money. And, um, it's, it sucks that this is not taught in school, but you know, look at school now with virtual and I don't know, school's a joke, honestly. Like, um, I feel like if you teach yourself, you'll, you'll be fine because anyway, let me not, let me not go there. But, um, Again, if you do your research online, there's so many resources as to um, what would be good for you. So again, I started off with a 401k and it is a sponsored savings account. And again, I use the company Vanguard. Um, my employer uses Vanguard, and which is really cool because um, Vanguard is a really reputable um company to use um, started with investing they have so many options um, so with my um, 
with my 401k so with my 401k I contribute a percentage of my my check um, to my 401 account um, you know bi-monthly so I so two two times a month and right now I'm doing a low percentage um, I'm doing less than 10% they say to say 10% of your income um, well I want and need my money right now so I think I'm about five or six percent of um, my bi-weekly or bi-monthly check and then I think my company it doesn't match 100% I know they don't contribute six percent I don't know I think they contribute um, one to two percent employer match uh, which is fine and then I also have a pension um, I I did a pension um, couple I've been there almost five years It'll be five years in December and then I signed up for a pension I think two or three years into working um, where I work now so I'll receive um, 401k and pension when I retire a 401k is popular because it is pre-taxed um, this is an advantage because um, you know it's before taxes and um, again it's it doesn't affect your your um, your income however um, when you do take it out you will be taxed and an advantage of it being pre-tax is that um, you're it puts you in a lower tax bracket um, you know depending how much you contribute now again doing my research these past few months I always wanted to do a Roth IRA and I when I talked to my dad's financial advisor he said you can do a Roth IRA okay I have notes so um, you know I'm not acting so i um, not gonna try to memorize this script so um, I just want to be prepared and um, I I'm doing a Roth 401k recently and so basically when I talk to him and when I talk to Vanguard I can do a Roth IRA or excuse me a um, Roth 401k contribution it's basically um, it's basically after tax and an advantage of being of saving after tax is that when I take out my money whether it be for before or when I retire I will not be taxed um, so that's a, a huge advantage plus um, there's less limitations of contributing as well Roth 401k has a higher contribution um, versus a of a regular 401k a regular 401k there is a limit to how much you can contribute uh, Roth 401k contribution if you make um, a lot more money and I'm not there yet um, but there is a advantage for um, higher income people for the Roth um, 401k contribution option because it allows you to contribute um, more more money into that account and employers and then there's advantages with the Roth it's advantages um, of having it's a blended of the, of the two of the Roth IRA combination with the 401k your employer will match pre-tax and then the Roth IRA is post-tax basically I have both um, I have I contributed three and three so total six percent with each with both accounts or savings combined so I have a 3% contribution for the 401k and a 3% contribution for the to the Roth uh, 401k uh, account or savings and, and as time goes on I can change it um, I just go on to Vanguard's website and and change it which is nice and um, it takes about I think less than a month or about a month for it to fully like um, make the change when it start when they start deducting from your from your paycheck and then if I ever leave my employer I can still you know have Vanguard um, still have Vanguard in these accounts which is nice and so again I have 401k and Roth 401k pre-tax and after-tax contributions so I am feel pretty sad um, when I talked to the 
my financial advisor, he said that um, I really don't need to do any more investing in the stock market because I mentioned mutual funds and he's like, you're, you're, you're fine. You're already doing a 401k. You don't really need an addition. Um, but I just decided to do the Roth um, because it's, it's a little different. Um, the advantages and disadvantages of a 401k because again, it's after tax and um you know the penalties and limits are a little bit different from a 401k so i just wanted to have both um because when i retire because when i retire whatever age that may be i just want to have money and not be taxed so much and all of that jazz so um yeah i like i love to see my money grow and again, I will contribute more um, as time goes on. But for now, it works because, again, I need my money because I'm trying to save. And I am a single mom, so I need all the money I can get. But like they say, something is better than nothing. So I am saving and watching my money grow. And so not only did I want to save for myself, I wanted to save for my son. He is five and a half. He already has a 529 college savings plan or college savings and um, my dad actually signed that. My dad actually did that for him. Um, I didn't even know he was going to do it. Um, I think he started a couple years ago and he just said that, um, you know, he did, he wanted to do, start a college fund and, you know, they take money out of his account and, you know, I'm the beneficiary to it or I'm the second person um on the account so um my son is set with that but i also want to do an additional savings for him that's when i was talking to financial guy because i wanted to make sure that i remembered everything that he was saying so i can go back and research and see if vanguard um offer these accounts and he did and he suggested I'm transferred to minor savings account and this is a brokerage account and basically um Again, with where I work is nice because a portion of, oh no, I'm lying, sorry. Um, it's not connected through my, for my check from work. It's um, connected through my bank. So every month um, I take out a certain amount of money and put it into what is called a um, federal money market fund. And it's a settlement fund used to pay and receive proceeds from brokerage transactions. Um, Again, this is called a brokerage account. And and basically when he turns 18, he has the choice to, you know, um, remove, remove, um, take out the money that I've been saving or have it continue to grow in this, um, in this account. So yeah, I just wanted to do that for him. I'm really glad I did that. Um, wish I would've did that sooner, but he is five, so there's plenty of time for that account and his other savings to grow. And again, for the past few months, I just became obsessed with learning about money, investing, saving, budgeting, and all of that. Um, I just, the stigma of money um, or the love of money um, hasn't been good for a long time. And I think with, you know, you know YouTube and social media were, you know that's that's going away um, because there's nothing wrong with um, liking money and love of money and needing it because we need it to survive um, you know no you don't need a grand excess of it but um, you know if you want to live a good life and be good um, it's 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 a lot of it's good to have Again, I feel very fortunate that um, my company already uses Vanguard, so it was really easy. It just took, you know, a couple of phone calls to to do, and um, it's all set. And again, so again, um, Vanguard is a good company to start if you want to start investing. And last but not least, I um, signed up for life insurance. <laughs> um, I'm filming on my phone, so. Um, I will link and put the exact name of the plan that I, I summed up for, but mine is pretty cool because it's a living, I can't talk, it's not a living will, it's, um, 
I would receive benefits if something were to happen to me. Um, not when I die, but if um, I became, you know, disabled to where I couldn't work, I would have access to money. Again, um, I will have the exact name of the plan in the description and on the screen somewhere of what exactly that I have. Um, someone I work with, um, their husband does the consulting through, it's through Transamerica and um, basically all it took was a couple Zoom calls and um, you know, just you know, research online as to what plan was best for me and I went with that one because again, you just never know in life what could happen and you know, just in case in the future and basically, again, um, the life insurance plan I, I did was like a living, a living, like I will receive benefits living, not just when um, I I die. It would be, um, again, I would be set if something were to happen to me where I couldn't work and I would have access to money, um, depending on, because um, there's different tiers, and there's, there's different plans. Um, so again, being 33, um, it's good to have um, some kind of life insurance. And then again, I have, um, in addition to that, I have, um, you know, one for, you know, for when I actually do die, um, you know, I would be covered for funeral expenses as well. So um, that's two expenses that um, that's taken out monthly as well for the living and the funeral. Um, very low very low cost. I think I chose the 30 year plan. Um, so I'm good for 30 years. Um, I guess when knock on wood, <laughs> if I don't die in 30 years, um, you know, then I would have to re sign up for something else. But, um, but again, it's just, um, things are crazy. 2020 is crazy. And even if this wasn't going on, it's, it's, it's it was still, still bound to do it either way um i guess that it just kind of jump started everything and again, as you know i'm not um i don't do financial videos or investing and all that it's very new to me but i do like when people who aren't um experts in this that talk about it because it just makes it more relatable um it makes it to where um you can have your own experience with it and getting started and that it's new new for you as well again um i am 33 and if you're around my age younger old so again you know it's not too late to start um with any kind of the accounts i mentioned it's just as long as you save your money to start whether you're younger than me or older than me however younger the better because obviously your money has more time to grow the younger you start and um and if you have kids get them get them some kind of account as well because um it's never too early to start with them so again i hope you enjoy this video with um my different investment accounts and what i've done um these past few months and again with um, my talk on investing and saving money it's never too early to start so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one